The diagnosis of PTSD requires exposure to a traumatic event. The thing is, surveys show that 70 to 90 percent of people are exposed to such an event at some point in their lives, but only 6 percent of people go on to develop PTSD. How can this be? Why do some people lead full, healthy lives after a trauma, whereas others suffer the painful aftereffects of PTSD? In this video, I will explain. According to psychological theory, the development of PTSD, as well as other trauma-related illnesses, such as depression and chronic pain, is less about what happens to someone, the traumatic event itself, and more about what happens next in the processing of emotions that follow the trauma. Trauma causes a whole cascade of painful emotions. This includes fear, emotional pain, grief, anger and rage, and sometimes guilt. If a person can face, process, work through, and thus heal all these emotions, then conditions like PTSD can be prevented. If instead, the emotional wounds of trauma are avoided, covered up, or treated poorly, these emotions can build up inside and lead to PTSD. Now, it's important to point out the needed healing is not all the responsibility of the victim. Preventing PTSD almost always requires another person, family, a friend, a professional, who can provide love and support, patience and tolerance, and most importantly, can help the person to work through their trauma-related emotions. If others show a lack of compassion for the person's experience, then the victim may react by further avoidance. One albeit controversial example of this is the difference in rates of post-traumatic stress symptoms in World War II versus Vietnam War veterans. World War II veterans returned from war as heroes and were lauded and praised. They were given support to get back on their feet and move on from the war, and most did. In contrast, many Vietnam War veterans were demeaned and sometimes even literally spit on when they returned from war. Lacking support for their emotional wounds, many went on to develop PTSD. So the development of PTSD is less about what happens to someone and more about what happens next. If you have sustained a trauma, try to seek out the support you need. If you cannot find it among friends or family, there is no shame in seeking out the help of a professional therapist. And if you know someone who experiences a trauma, try to be there to help them heal their emotional wounds. I hope you learned something meaningful from this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.